Hey everyone, so today I am actually working on a uh, remo disassembling a, uh, a Surface Book base. And uh, everyone is always going to mention, you know, try to use the uh, plastic tools uh, here to um, pry it open. But they, are, they just have such a hard time. Um, I don't know if you can see the corners or the edges of it actually. If I can get that to focus, yeah, they get they get pretty beat up just trying to go in there. Um, so what I got is um, uh, so you just get uh, a knife, a utility knife, basically, and uh, I'm I took the tip of it off. Um, and actually, I mean, as long as you're very careful, you won't scratch anything. Um, so you wanna just you wanna get it in the groove. It's really thin. So um, it'll go in the groove uh, like I have it here. And uh, basically um, you wanna use, uh, you know, like a, a blow dryer, that's what I use. I didn't have a heat gun or anything like that. So I used a blow dryer. And uh, basically you just start, um, you know, uh, putting the heat, applying the heat all the way in the edge of where you're gonna work. And uh, then I got the knives, uh, tip here uh, or head here I put it here and uh, once I got it in there uh, I started going uh, back and forth a little bit and pushing my way in there it's a little hard um, it's a little hard to push with your uh, finger here so I just used like a screwdriver or something and then I pushed underneath and now I'm under um, and then I'm just gonna carefully uh, go alongside it just a little bit then I'm gonna go back to using the plastic tools just so I don't scratch anything but um I thought I'd share that with somebody because I couldn't really find too many videos about how to uh, disassemble the base. Uh, I need to replace the battery myself or uh, get the battery working anyway. Um, I did notice uh, you don't have to remove uh, the strip right here. Uh, I was gonna remove it thinking there might be screws or something, but there's absolutely no screws. So you do not have to remove the strip, leave it alone. Um, and uh, I'll get back to you. So at this point, when you get to where the trackpad is going to be, um, it's looking like it's uh, um, got a lot more glue there. So you want to take your time and um, spend a lot more time using uh, your heat gun or your blow dryer and heat the area really good so the glue is uh, really loose in there.
Okay, so it's finally off. Uh, it took a little while, obviously. Probably spent at least a half an hour on it. But we're finally getting somewhere. Okay, so now that it's off, um, you're going to have to disconnect the bottom. Uh, so this lid is actually a battery here. So um, it's going to be hard to kind of show you guys, but it's got, it just, it just has to be disconnected as all. Okay. Now, um, I'm actually uh, not uh, going to replace the battery. Uh, that is, uh, I have a problem with the battery. But what I'm gonna try to see about doing is uh, reviving it somehow. Okay, so I just uh, got done putting the entire bottom here uh, with the battery in the freezer. Um, I got had it in there for about 12 hours. Um, gonna let it sit to room temperature. Then I'm gonna try to bring it back, plug it in, um, and, and just like any many other videos show, uh, you wrap it up in a towel um, or some cloth or something. Uh, put it in a bag. Put it in the freezer for a while. Um, hopefully this will uh, get the battery working again, but we'll find out. Okay, everyone. Freezing the battery of the Surface Book from the Surface Book's base did not work. Uh, I had it in there for, plugged in for hours, um, I powered it on, left it even longer for hours. It didn't do nothing uh, at all. So uh, what I'm trying right now, um, and I'm gonna show you guys if this is working or not, is um, I got a universal charger right here. I took it apart. Uh, so I have the wires, uh, I connected the two wires, the uh, positive and the negative, um, over to where um, the positive and the negative uh, terminals are shown on the surface uh, book battery here. And uh, this is supposed to actually give off, you know, more than 8, it was supposed to be 8.7 volts that it gives out actually, but for some reason it is not. Um, now, it's important that I show you on this tester too, uh, that you connect them properly. Um, because once you have a wires out of a, something, you won't know which one is the negative or the positive. Uh, but if you, you have a tester, it's going to show you which one is which. Um, so if you look here, um, when we take tester and we test the pins on the opposite side like somewhere in the middle you're gonna get you see the numbers shift there those are that's positive okay now as you see I'm only getting about 4.26 volts not really enough but if I was to go in reverse there see how it has minus now instead same uh, voltage, but it comes in reverse. There you go. So make sure you have them in the proper order, okay? Uh, red being the positive and, uh, and whatever your other color is be the negative. Um, point is, uh, wire it right so you don't damage your battery or do anything all right so now um i've had i love this overnight i have this running all night so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna disconnect the power here um okay now what i'm gonna see is if it can hold if it's showing that power output all on its own or not so moment Moment of truth here.
and sadly this did not even work okay everyone so i'm back and i have very exciting news i have a working battery i didn't need to buy one and uh it worked um so it's been a little while since i um well i mean i've been working on this non-stop i can't say it's been a little while um my last attempt was uh with you with recording anyway was yesterday uh, so now uh, I'm gonna take you through the steps of what I what else I did after uh, the, the, where I left off. So last we were using this. Um, we were only getting about if I can if I can remember correctly maybe about three volts or something like that. Um, it didn't work. Um, I uh, I wasn't getting any readings from the battery, but I still went and plugged it in, left it for many hours, came back, and still absolutely no charge. Uh, then I uh, decided to uh, use this one. Uh, this is just a regular rechargeable battery, um, uh, you know, a charger, energizer charger. So it's, uh, but this one was giving off eight volts. And um, so I did the same thing, you know, I uh, wired uh, on this one, actually. Uh, you uh, couldn't just wire get the contact with the positive and the negative um, just showing how it was um, so it was actually opposite so this positive was with this negative would work or this positive and this negative would work uh, this is how this particular model uh, functioned uh, so you'd have to have two batteries in at a time so to avoid that um, I just made my connection right here and then I made my other connection over here and connected it with it um, I don't honestly know if this one worked or not. Uh, I'm only showing this video just to uh, explain that I'm, I'm not really sure if it worked. Um, I'm going to uh, maybe do a little something different because right now, um, as we all know, we're just focused on uh, recovering the surface base battery. So not the actual screen battery, which I also have a problem with, but uh, one problem at a time. So we got the surface base working now. Um, I, again, I don't know if this charger um, did the trick or not, because I don't know if I actually plugged it in again after this one. I went to get some readings from the battery afterwards and I wasn't really getting anything. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna take it one step further. So for my next step further, I got one, uh, this uh, Makita 18-volt uh, uh, battery for my drill. And I decided, well, I'm going to try this. Uh, well, I got nothing to lose. Um, so here you have your uh, negative and your positive uh, right here. So I just got the wires in them, obviously. Um, and just like uh, I demonstrated before with this one, so I did the same thing, I uh, made the contact on the pins. Um, I'm not sure if most of the pins that they were all, when I tested multiple of them, they, they all responded the same. So even though you don't have to have contact with all the pins on the bottom. So that um, again, seemed to do the trick for me. Um, and uh, so yeah, so what happened is I got it plugged in, left it for again, maybe i guess it was all night i left it all night i came back uh this morning and um i just i i was i still was not liking the readings i wasn't really getting much of anything um uh from the contact uh points on where i was charging after removing the battery um and actually no sorry so then i this was last night that i did this and then i plugged it in all night and i came back this morning and Thank God it's working. Um, so you could see I have 95% battery. I uh, disabled, you only see one battery because I disabled uh, the other one uh, just to avoid confusion. So this is the basis battery working right now. Uh, the other battery is currently disabled. 
everyone this is exciting i am very very excited that i got this working um you know so this should help a lot of people out uh and I, it's safe to say that this would work for not just the surface book but um uh, also uh just any surface product because i'm gonna guess they all work similar when it comes to their battery um so it's not going to be just a surface base that you could fix uh, using this method. You'd probably be able to fix any of the surface uh, products, whether it's a surface laptop, which I'm sure is a nightmare to open, way worse than this, uh, or just a Surface Pro. Again, those things are really difficult because you have to remove the whole screen. But again, I'm going to see if I can come up with a way where you don't have to open up the screen to get this battery to work. I hope this video was helpful. Again, I'm very, very excited. Uh, it is fully charging. Just to kind of show you guys, it is fully functional at this point. Uh, it does charge. Um, for my particular, just to uh, mention this in this video, another reason why I disabled uh, the other um, battery at this point is it behaved a little strange the other batteries sometimes caused my system to just jump to hibernate i don't know why so for me i just decided to have it disabled so it doesn't mess with anything and uh, again you can see it's charging it's holding a charge all we had to do was that also before you close up the base before you enclose the battery back up again it's very important that you decharge and charge it a few times just to make sure everything is right because if you end up closing it all back up again then you'll have to open it back up again if this didn't work out for you i hope this works again for you uh for me it did i'm very happy very excited once again i hope it worked for you uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to comment. Hit that bell. And thanks again for watching. Good luck.